Okay, here we are. Uh, someone has chosen this exact moment to start mowing their lawn. Nothing I can do about that, but hey, that's, that's great, right? Yeah, so uh, today's game is actually Happy's Humble Burger Barn, and I saw the first two minutes of Markiplier play it, and I was like, oh, I gotta do that. And then when I went to grab it, it's by the Scythe Dev team, which you may recognize as the developers of Northbury Grove. Uh, so that's super cool. They keep popping up and making games. That's what I like to see, I suppose. Yeah, it's not actually a PS1 game like some people may have thought. Here we go. Whoop. There, okay. Yeah, I hope you're having a great day, too. Real original. Well, listen, I saw him drive a car and I was like, ah, I gotta do that, gotta do that. So, I don't know what actually happens in this game, I just know that it's a relatively short uh, and free horror game. Uh, link in the description if you're interested in playing it. And it's got that PS1 style uh, uh, aesthetic, which we all know I love. That is super dark, actually. Hang on, let me throw on a filter there. Yeah, so super, super excited for this one. And I don't think it's going to be as long as some of the games I play, but knowing how I play them, maybe not. There we go. A little bit better? Because uh, I want people to at least see the red glow from inside the, the shop, yeah? How's that looking? You're able to make out just, like, the color? Because it looked, uh... Corey Kenshin played it too. Is he back? Uh, last I checked, he was on hiatus. You know, and, and I'm not one to judge for that. <laughs> Oh wait, whoa, whoa, we've got uh, either either the actual Scythe dev team, a member, um, or just someone pretending, but fun fact, the opening noise was made with a Roland D5 software, which is the synth used on the actual PS1 opening queue. Yeah, I could tell. It was very similar. Well, that's super cool. I can't wait to embarrass myself. <laughs> I'm only one of them. John He, I am the sound guy. Oh, oh, okay, you're responding to someone. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, the sound guy is here. That's double cool. All right. <gasps> oh no. I'm scared already. <laughs> the devs are in the chat, so better be nice. Absolutely, I'll be professional just this once. That's some good music, though. It's got that vaporwave kind of feel to it. Alright, drive to work and park on the side. Alright. Now my question is, are there any pedestrians? That's what I want to know. Oh, I got a little arrow up there. That's cool. Horror games scare me, but you put me in a car and I'm the monster. Just, let's just kind of GTA it for a little while. Wait a minute. Lidge, wait, no, Lidge, Light Ridge Heights. Huh. Well, no, I've always liked the music for Northbury Grove. I talked about it endlessly, um... Oh, that's a deer. Eek. Okay, I'm about to get us all killed. It's fine, it's fine. We're cool. I know how to drive. Um, not sure if you're the, the guy that worked on Northbury. I know sometimes, uh, teams change members and stuff, and some person works on one thing and another person works on another thing, but... It's that synth. It's good. Happy's Humble Burger Barn. What a, what a friendly place. I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. What if I just drive it into the front of the store? Nice. Ah, oh, music and SFX on all of them. That's pretty cool. Grab your time card and clock in. Neat. So I guess this is probably set in the same universe, or maybe a shared universe, as um, the other games. Happy's Humble Burger Barn. Employees only. All employees must clock in upon entering premises. Happy's Burger Barn and affiliates accept no responsibility or liability upon accident, injury, or even death. Only employees and or parties given prior consent are able to enter the premises from this door. Patrons may enter on the other side of the building. Thank you for your cooperation. Left mouse to interact. Okay, I'm going in, but maybe not yet. Ooh, jungle juice. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll just leave that for somebody. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
smoke a cigarette. Yeah, I mean, might as well, right? We're probably gonna die really soon. <laughs> ah, Borgar. Yeah, Oron, you raise cattle? I mean, the whole cow theme must just really entice you, right? That's gotta be a selling point here. Wait a minute. Yeah, Earth doesn't have two moons, right? I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that's... Maybe it's like Mars that's visible, but eh, either way. Oh god, no. No, I hate that. I hate that already. And I think I'm the only one in. It's said to use the back door. I'm, I'm gonna use the back door. I'm like, I'm gonna break the rules. And then you start to, and you get scared, and you just go back to doing what they want you to do. <laughs> First thing you heard was Borger, so you're interested? Yep, that's uh, that's all you need. Hey, all of us in quarantine, have any, anybody uh, starting to crave fast food yet? It's been about three months since I've had any. Wait, 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 what did it say? I was talking. <laughs> Slap the bays. Got some doggos. Joey High Stakes TV. Wait, no, no, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. Watch me just throw it into a crevice and I can't ever get it back. Yeah, clocked in. Nice. Let's see. Oh, oh, so it is. Okay, so it isn't quite Earth. It's a, it's a, like a parallel universe or something. Cool. Employee notice. Interact with and, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, God, can you feel the polygons breathing? This whole store is just... <laughs> Maybe I should turn... Yeah, I gotta. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm sure there's gonna be instructions here in a minute. What, we just left all the food out overnight? <laughs> Read all of the instructions. Oh boy, how to make a Happy's Deluxe. Grab a frozen patty from the freezer and throw it on the grill. Place the bun, lettuce, to. Was that a rat? Was that a freaking rat? Just bolted out of there like Sonic? Uh, place the bun, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles onto the assembly board. Oh god, that is a rat. He's just, oof, gotta go fast. So bun, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, assembly board. Place the cooked patty on the assembly board. Okay, so cook the patty, all the stuff on the board, and then the patty on the board. Watch as the burger magically constructs itself. <laughs> it's not an eldritch abomination, sure. Serve it to the customer with a big, happy, humble smile. We got fryers here. Can't wait to have my head shoved in one of these. <laughs> oh, we got some fries. Oh no. I'm gonna have to cook those, aren't I? Wait a minute. I didn't sign up for this. Hang on. Strawberry jacuzzi. Jungle soda. Not grape. <laughs> that's that's all you had to say. I'll take the not grape. Did anyone uh, else get ruined uh, for grape flavor because of that cough syrup you had to drink when you were a kid? I saw that for just a second, and I thought that thing had gotten closer. <laughs> okay, so I know I can go up front and access that area, but I guess there's no reason to. Cycle lobby song. Yeah, could I get some music in here? That would just put me at ease. Oh, we've got a drive through Okay, let's put- let's hope that's bulletproof. We got cameras. Oh, there's more. There's more freaking instructions. <laughs> you loved grape soda so much as a kid. I wish I had that, but all I had was uh, cherry cough medicine and grape cough medicine, and ever since then, I can't do either of those two flavors in candy. Check the lobby register order screen. Okay, that's like over there. To see what the customer wants, take money and place it into the register. Grab food items and give them to the customer. You will hear a sound and see the order item disappear. Serve all food items to please the customer, always with a happy, humble smile. What's the button to smile? <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, so I can enter this place. Great, that's- I'm sure there's no one hiding in the bathroom ready to kill me. That's cool. Oh god. It's fine, we'll, we'll just put these here, right? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, I guess it's a stall. Well, it's locked. Probably no one in there. Oh, I keep seeing things that make me think somebody's standing there. 
Okay, it's fine. Nothing I can do in here, so I should never come in here ever again. I'm on to you. Happy the humble heifer. Okay, it talks. Great. I don't know if this is going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's game where the cow comes alive and attacks you, or if somebody's going to break in and try and kill me. Maybe it's the rats. Maybe the rats will carry us off. Okay. All right, all right. Well, uh, here we go. Let's get some food. High pitched move. That's pretty good. Okay, beef patty. Cool. Fryer. Yeah. Uh oh, wait. Um, assembly board, right? Oh, that's the assembly board, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, wait. Hang on. Hang on. It's fine. Why is this making me so stressed? It's not done yet. Oh, turn on the open sign. Wait a minute, I'm not even... Who am I making this for? Um, that's probably not gonna catch fire and kill us, right? Where's the open sign? Oh, it's probably right against the window, yeah? I haven't been even looking at the chat, I'm too stressed. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on in, wood dwellers. Nice skyline. I'm making it for chat. Yeah, there you go. What do you guys want on your burger, huh? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it looks about <laughs> burnt patty. All right, fine. I'll just I'll just put that somewhere over here. Just toss it into him as soon as he comes in. Okay. Soft drink. And salmon nuggets. Uh, okay. A hundred dollars, wait a minute. Uh, soft drink, soft drink, right, right. I'm gonna need a cup for that, yeah? There were no instructions for the soft drink. Salmon nuggets. All I know is how to make a burger, though, is the thing. You guys know how to make salmon nuggets? Because I don't. Uh... Oh wait, maybe I was supposed to give him- maybe I was supposed to give him change. It's- it's fine. Either way, someone at some point is gonna want a burger. Can I just give him the display burger or something? What if I just give him a burger, right? Um, okay, so... Onion. Cool. Nice. I'm sure he's not gonna kill me if I mess this up, right? Wait, hang on, drinks? No? Okay. Uh... Grill. <laughs> Oh! Oh shoot! Okay, okay, um, he doesn't want to shake though. Alright, here we go. Here's your soda. Yeah? Okay, salmon nuggets. Salmon nuggets. So you do have to make it, whatever it is. Fuck. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, he didn't see that. Okay, listen, I got your salmon nuggets right here. Eat cow, it's good for you. Okay, he does not want cow. Where are the salmon nuggets? What uh, burger place does the best burgers? Shoot, you know what? I'm gonna have to say Whataburger. Uh, <laughs> considering, oh wait. Is that on my end or is that on the, oh wait, he's going. No, he's not, okay. Where are the salmon nuggets? I'm turning up the music. I hope nothing bad happens because I do that. I mean, okay, nothing in there. That's just storage, Ugh. salad. Nothing in here is a salmon. And the deep fry? Uh, fries. Oh, oh, salmon nuggets. It's cool. Do I have to make these or are they pre-made? Here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Goodbye. Come again, I guess. It's fine. First customer is always the hardest, right? I better start cooking another patty. <clears throat> I hope a psycho killer doesn't come in here because I'm going to be too stressed to even notice at this point. Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Best. No question about this ever. Huh. Yeah, I do hear it's got a, uh, a good reputation. Shake. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Shake is easy. Yeah. 
You know, I, I kept hearing how good Five Guys was, and then I was like, oh, I should go try it out one time. And then I went, but I think I actually went to Use Guys, and it was all right. So to this day, I don't know if I actually don't like Five Guys or not. <laughs> you can't kill me. I am in the fast food industry. I'm already dead. Yeah, pretty much. I wonder if I can feed the mouse. Will he take a burger if I give him a burger? Dang, people got that swagger. Also, everybody's bald. Shake, okay. Simple enough. So do I actually have to stay alive, or will it kill me when the time is right? Because I don't know if I should be devoting my mental faculties to being a good employee or not. I guess I'll just cook another burger while I'm doing this. I need to pay attention to the ding-dongs, because that'll... Ugh, it's fine, shh. Because that'll, that'll tell me if anyone's leaving or coming in. I think that last one was him leaving, so we should be fine. Let's see. Oh! Okay, so that pauses. That doesn't actually give me the menu. Have you tried In-N-Out? Oh, In-N-Out shakes! Man, everybody talks about those, but I never actually went. I haven't been to Carl's Jr. either, or Jack in the Box. Wait, what's a Happy Deluxe? That's just a regular burger, right? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Oh wait, wait a minute, wait. It's not burnt, is it? I don't think it's burnt. Yeah, cooked. It's just cooked. He asked for a shake, right? Oh, wait, soft drink. Shoot. This is so freaking stressful, you don't even need to make it a horror game. Okay, Happy Deluxe. Um, I'll just... Why is my... Why is the throw button so freaking low? Oh, fun. Oh shoot, that's a lot of meat. Well, it is a deluxe, right? Yeah, take out all the trash from the kitchen. No, this is where I die. This is where I die or the cow gets me. Getting poultry guys flashbacks. No, no, don't talk about that movie. I don't know. Ah. Uh, that was a wacky stream night, honestly. Okay, okay, trash, trash. Oh man, oh man. Hi, cow. Do you talk? It does. Where's the can? Okay, here it is. Not too far, right? That's good. I'm not gonna die, right? Shit. I hate that. I hate that. What was that? Was that me? Maybe a cigarette will help, right? You can't kill me if I'm smoking a cigarette. That's like a rule. Okay, it's fine. What the? Okay, guys, let's take a little poll here. Who do you think is going to kill me? A psychopath or the cow? All oh, those dogs freaking scared me. <laughs> I shouldn't have parked my truck right there. Why? Why does this uh, throw button exist just to... I keep seeing movement everywhere, and that's because the polygons are jittering. It's cool. It's cool. No, you just drop. Just drop it. I don't want to be out here anymore. Oh god, oh god. What? Oh, I ain't gonna need another cigarette for that one. I've only got like three left, though. Investigate the noise. Where was the noise? Why are all the lights off? That's a moo. That's a distorted moo. Listen. Yeah, run, rat. Come to think of it, I should run, too. <clears throat> oh, the music helps? I can't turn on the lights from this side. Where 
the light switches again. Oh, they're in the bathroom, aren't they? Yeah, it can't get me now. <laughs> alright, alright. No, wait. No. Eh. Maybe I should keep that open. It's cool. I've got something ready for him. Just let me turn on the lights, okay? Yeah! Okay. I should have checked the bathrooms. That's one thing I haven't checked. I can't see. It's, it's like taking up half my screen. Wait, maybe I should have kept that there, right? I probably should have kept that there. I thought I was gonna die, but it keeps going, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, well, back to work then. It's fine. Oh, I didn't blink enough, my eyes, uh. If you make the killer a hamburger, he won't kill you. Well, no, see, the trick is to kill him with the hamburger. I gotta make one of those nasty patties, like from SpongeBob. Okay, Happy's Deluxe, soft drink, another Happy's Deluxe. Okay, daring today, aren't we? Oh, the, the, hang on. <laughs> Here we go. I just, I wouldn't put it past them to have them hop the counter and rush me, is the thing. I know they can do that, because uh, that one guy busted through the wall like uh, the Kool-Aid man in Northbury Grove. I didn't close that door, did I? Oh no, I kept it open for safety reasons. Oh, I should have been cooking another patty. It's fine, just take this and go. And take me with you, come to think of it. Okay, I thought the music changed. I was like, why did it become distorted? Okay, it's fine, you know what, this is fine. Oh God, uh, Bruinho Masisho. Here, buy a cheap game. <laughs> hmm, what's the best game for two monies? Although I don't know what the conversion rate is, but yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll find something. Oh, you know what? That's just about enough to get, um, shoot, what's that one by Horror and Oats? It's like three bucks, Home Alone, Alone Home. It's fine, it's fine, and then he sticks a knife in my neck. I'm learning optimization. Listen, it's my first day, pretty much. Someone's already coming in. Okay, I can see him in the window. He doesn't look like a killer. Killers don't usually wear mint green shirts, right? Did you just get paid in Robux? <laughs> did you ever play Cry of Fear? No, uh, but I did watch like every YouTuber play it way back when. PewDiePie, Markiplier. As soon as I turn my back, that's when they're gonna get me. Fuck. Fuck. It's fine. Okay, but why did he phase out of existence, though? Should I clock out before dying, or...? You know, that's a good question. If you die before clocking out, right? Like, who do they send your paycheck to? Your next of kin or something? Fuck. No. No. Call your boss on the office phone. Boss, the cow is sentient. What do I do? He's like, get the gun. Okay, I'm gonna need a cigarette after that. Yep, that's definitely a cow. But is it the cow? Is this a new cow? Let's go to the menu. 
Salmon mugs, small bite, great, uh, big eats, serene salads, cool kids menu. Oh, I want a toy. Cake it, seriously, desserts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, all right. Some of the items are actually from the dev team. Ah. Oh. Why is the door always locked? Fuck. It's gonna make me go- uh, It's gonna make me do that again? Is the cow still there? Oh god, it's not there. Someone actually did move it. Well, what happened to the guy that came in and ordered, huh? Is it still there? I can't see through all the jank. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that cow's gone. Well, that answers that question. I swear, if the cow comes out of the bathroom and kills me. Okay, not that switch. That one turns off the music. Keeping that there. Yeah, hello? Shoot, but that means I'm trapped. Whoa, 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 what? Who put the what in the cow? The cow's in the middle of the drive field. Is this a fucking joke? <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck do you mean it walked over there? Alright, I'll get someone out there to move it. Just stay put. Stop causing trouble. Me? It's the cows, man. The cows. Continue to manage customers. I mean... Really? Are you sure? Who would still keep working after this? Oh fuck! <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh no. Well, there's my little jump scare for the day, I guess. I'm scared by that Barney-looking motherfucker. Ah. You better not disappear into the void when I try to give you your freaking order, okay? Soft drink. Happy Deluxe. Happy Deluxe. Okay, I'm gonna get another. It's luring me into a sense of security where I get so in the routine that as soon as I turn a corner, they're gonna kill me. I know it. I know it. One thousand percent. That's what's gonna happen. One of these days, I'm gonna go get a patty, except when I come back out, that's when it kills me. <sighs> Thankfully, I don't think there's actually a time limit on getting them their stuff. I'm not turning my back to you. Welcome to the humble burger barn. Just be aware, some of our customers disappear into the void. At least they paid first, you know what I mean? Oh wait, yeah, that's probably done. Calm a little bit. I am super calm. I mean, I'm about to be murdered by a cow animatronic, so I'm as calm as could be. In fact, I welcome death. You better not just disappear and take my lights with you. That's right. I wonder if it's randomized or if there's like a, a set uh, pattern each time. Voidhead is killing the customers. Interesting. Well... I haven't given anyone fries yet. What the heck? That's sad. They look like cigarettes. <laughs> Okay, this guy is giving me bad vibes. No, I don't like him. I walked out of a restaurant job once. It was very satisfying. Well, heck, yeah. 
Unfortunately, it's a job that doesn't, you know, get you a lot of respect on both ends. The customers aren't always nice, and the management is usually, um, not particularly kind either. <laughs> Fuck me. What is that? That's a face. Oh. Okay. Well, at least it's not cows. Okay, okay, this is too surreal to be scary for me, so that's fine, that's fine. I mean, should I start cooking up burgers, or... Okay. I don't... Looking a little... Hmm. Yep, okay, well... I'll just, uh, head out the other way, I suppose. <laughs> a lot of bald guys out tonight, you know what I mean? At least if I die, this place will burn down. Wait. Oh no. I think I might have glitched the game a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I moved it, but it left a copy of itself. Well, or maybe that's supposed to be something that happens. It's not a Northbury Grove game unless I break it somehow. Okay, we're, we're just gonna... Fuck, 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 fuck. That sounds familiar. Posing in dominance, I see. So, do I keep cooking burgers or. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I can take a hint. I guess we should leave. Cigarettes! Ah! Why? Okay. Alright. Time to go. Time to go. We'll go now. Yeah, so what? Was it all a simulation? Just keep cooking. Return to what you know is safe. <laughs> Let me turn that down. I'm sure someone's gonna be shrieking at me. Restricted area. This facility has been condemned. It is no longer safe for any and all living things. Any and all access beyond this point will be considered trespassing. There is nothing beyond this point worth dying for. Yeah, but which point? Like, was I already in the place, or is going this way take me to the place? In event of an emergency, follow the evacuation route. Oh, that's cute. It's a throwback to the 80s. More tea posers. Okay, in the event of a genetic technology wing 13, what? Oh, that stands for exit, although you could probably guess that. Shoot. I can read a little bit of, uh, hiragana. Row B. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. In event of emergency, follow the evacuation protocol. The entire facility has been marked with path indicators on the floor. It is de uh, depicted below. Okay. So where am I? I guess it's just a straight line, pretty much? Fuck. Oh god, I forgot they were there. <laughs> ah! Oh no, it's a headless, uh, happy heifer. Do I not have a flashlight? It's fine. We're gonna be fine. Wait a minute. Is 
use the elevator? Okay, yeah. Read document, fuck. Simulation scenarios, a brief rundown of current running simulations. The wage slave. Happy humble burger barn, low wage fast food worker, living paycheck to paycheck. Audiovisual brain entertainment, trauma based climax, light drugging. The, uh, the lifesaver. Maple Overlook Hospital, nurses aid, janitor, continual trauma, medium drugging. Graveyard shift, legacy lawn, burial grounds, grave digger. Visual brain entertainment, theatrical trauma, heavy drugging. Um. They're a thrill seeker. Seven Banner Theme Park. Ride operator. Forced trauma. Peripheral trauma. Gee, a lot of trauma. That's a lot of buttons. Oh boy, yeah, something sure went wrong. I just realized, if all this was a simulation, then people totally watched me throw the burgers on the floor and then give them to the customer. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see. Operation Sky High. Operation Sky High is an in initiative to defend the southern border of Sabbath from the homicidal, feral, cannibal <laughs> tribes that live in the deserts of Zoo Rakim. This border wall will essentially turn the Zoo Rakim Desert into a natural prison. Funding the authorization of such a massive proposition is reliant on the execution of Grimm's Operation Unified Front. Damn, there's some deep lore here. Once the world Scythian government has been established, the Sabitian border wall will be the first major move. There are also plans to construct a highway that runs through the desert all the way to Balaki. This will save a massive amount of money on our shipment of goods to the Outcast Island outposts. Oh, so that's where we are. It will be- oh god, so it's probably a raid by the feral homicidal cannibal tribes that live in the deserts of Zoo Rakeen. Shoot! <laughs> what a bad day to go to work. Um, accordingly, Dr. Grimm and Paragon have formed a militia. This militia will be run by a former general of the Sabit military, a decorated war hero known as General Bashorn. Well, hopefully he gets his militia here quick, because I don't want to die. Oh, jeez, yeah, his head and ooh, ooh, he needs some milk. Got golden babes on the floor. This place is a mess. I don't want to look at them too hard, just in case YouTube gets a little, uh... Oh, well, this guy's intact perfect opportunity for him to grab me and be like, ah. Northbury Grove Massacre. Status on the Rock Warehouse teenagers who came in direct contact with the butcher of Northbury Grove. Well, which one? Um, Grace, alive, was kidnapped from the Rock the Warehouse Music Festival campgrounds, managed to escape his lair, only to encounter him again one year later and survive. Connor, alive, encountered the butcher at the Alcanon factory and also managed to escape. He also recorded footage of his counter. NGPD has possession of the cave. Tapes. Crystal Quint, deceased, encountered the butcher at the Rock, the warehouse fe music festival grounds. She did not survive. Uh, Trevor Quint, deceased, managed to escape the killer at the King's Comfort Motel. However, a year later, he was killed at Northbury Grove Estate. Yeah, by Grace. Good job, Grace. <laughs> oh, look, there's the burger barn thing. Borger will fix them right up. Yeah, see, that's all they needed. It all ties in. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, that's a weirdly 3D looking picture. What does that mean? Is there somebody here? What would you give for protection? They gave it all. Cheese Maze Initiative. Oh my god. In this series of experiments, we will attempt to influence or control the minds of our test subjects through themed auditory and visual cues. These cues will be intensified to a dramatic conclusion at which time the subject should theoretically be under our complete control. 
Whenever they are subject to a trigger, test subjects who manage to break their conditioning tend to panic into a fight or flight response. We observed this behavior in only 0.5 of our test subjects. Uh, of that 0.5%, a rare 1 out of 100 uh, shut down completely. Even rarer, 1 out of 500 got violent. They were disposed of accordingly. Each test subject is placed into a customized scenario and subjected to several cycles of therapy and programming. The therapy and programming normalizes the scenario and embeds deep mental triggers. When a subject is released back into the wild, they can now be triggered into a subservient state. The goal of this uh, experiment is to discover a means of indefinite hypnotic control and or influence over desired subjects. A constant state of hypnosis is not a desirable outcome. A so-called sleeper state of hypnosis that can be activated via verbal, audio, or visual cues is ideal. Triggers can include a frequency emitted through radios and cellular devices or images broadcast on television and computer screens. Once subjects have been triggered, theoretically, handlers can then assume control of and direct the subjects hurting the sheep as dr grimm himself put it okay so visual clue cues include a spiral and then audio cue, i don't know what kind of audio that would be whoop well it's gone now okay end of days oh is that snake uh maverick cooper site's number one investigative journalist uh, nuclear meltdown poisons tropical paradise. Is this the end of days? Oh, don't tell me we got hit by a nuke. It's been less than a year since Donovan City Mayor Dominic Jean uh, revealed he was, in fact, ostracized scientist Maverick Cooper. In that time, Paragon has emerged as a beacon of useful technology, ushering in a new age of tech. The Paragon OS operating system has pushed both cellular devices and computers forward decades. Um... Paragon Incorporated have also introduced many ad advancements in medicine through their controversial genetic technology brand, and Paragon Security has offered all kinds of advancements in protection, both for business and in affordable home security packages. But is the tech giant more than they seem? Conspiracy theorists seem to think absolutely. Independent reporter Jean-Pierre VD, Van Damme? I don't know. Who emerged on status posts and has become... I'm sure it's fine. It's nothing, I'm sure. <clears throat> Who emerged on status post and has become main, a mainstay figure in alternative news sources has made claims a meltdown on Zeo wasn't at a military base but at a Paragon Genetic Technology Research Facility. JPVD surmises that Paragon inter, uh, intentionally initiated this meltdown to avoid inspection from government officials of neighboring countries. The entire island has since been put under quarantine. Oh man, even in the games I'm quarantined. The status of the tribes who live on the island is unknown, but the government of Sabit and Baleki have both sent military and relief workers to hopefully rescue people trapped on the island. A scientist who wishes to remain anonymous sent Maverick Cooper info saying they'd fled one of Paragon's facilities after becoming increasingly disenfranchised with the company. The person claims sick and twisted experiments took place, that Dr. Grimm was insane and trying to play God, and that people were tortured and brainwashed. Various media outlets, meanwhile, have begun questioning whether the meltdown and resulting radiation leak at Tara Ocean as an ELE or extinction level event. Oh. Please sign up for a subscription to unlock the rest of this article. No. Okay, so is that the same guy as him? Is that Cooper? Is that Dr. Grimm? Uh, this is some board of office meetings or whatever. You made this final track 15 minutes to cover the time it takes to read the lore. Oh. Yeah, it must be really hard trying to time theme, uh, things in video game uh, ways. Because you got the people who will, you know, do everything according to plan. But then you got the people that just run through and don't look at anything. So that's super hard. That would... Uh, I would get so stressed out trying to, trying to plan for everything. Alright, so we're irradiated, I'm sure. Should I just run? Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Right? Should I run? Should I be running? What was that slam? It's fine. We're cool. We're cool. It just said stay on the path and you'll get out of here. I'm sure. What if this is just another simulation and this is like mega trauma? I 
I'm glad the, the cow wasn't sentient, though. Cheese Maze Initiative. Yeah, we've read that one. Oh no, it's gonna play a cue, isn't it? I bet it's just, um, the hypnotic state is just like to, to ice yourself. Why would I play that? That can't be anything good. Is there any other way out of here? Because I sure as heck do not trust that. Well, it doesn't look like there's any other option. <laughs> One last... Uh, don't be a swirly. Let me close this. Oh, I can't. Great. If you're watching this, I hope you made it out. I, I know I won't, but I hope this tape will. I've lived a long and fortuitous life. And for many years, I was shielded from the horrors of humanity and the brutality of nature. But upon taking a job from Dr. Zane Grimm, I've seen things I can't explain. Horrors that have haunted my dreams. Paragon has made massive strides in technology. We pushed humanity forward centuries. But I'm afraid we're about to send it back to the Stone Age. At first we were just trying to help the community. Grimm became determined to save it. To play God. That was when our research became, uh unethical at best, and diabolical at worst. The facility is committing crimes against humanity, and I can no longer stand idly by and let this happen. Surely, we are now paying the consequences for our hubris, toying with human life, altering the consciousness of innocent people in sick experiments, forged of indoctrination and psychological slavery. I can't live with myself any longer. But before I shed this existence for the next, I must blow the whistle on the inhumane and cruel practices happening in this and all other Outcast Island research facilities. I've shipped this video and massive data packages to every media outlet I could find. From the Sabbath Broadcasting Company to Maverick Cooper. And I will expose the vile underbelly of Paragon. Dr. Grimm was once a good man. But he has lost his mind. Surely, I've lost mine as well. We cannot cure death. We cannot even cure our own avarice and vanity. And we surely cannot stop what's coming. <sighs> okay. Oh, I really thought someone was gonna come up behind me. <laughs> If you enjoyed this, oh, thank you for playing. If you enjoyed this Seth's, uh, Chef Simulator, consider checking out the rest of our games on itch.io. Yeah, and I do have the, um, the specifically this game linked uh, to their itch.io in the description if you're interested. Ah, oh, and it is free, by the way, so you don't have to pay anything. You can just go play it right now, and you can cook burgers uh, to your heart's content. <laughs> You've now unlocked Endless Burger Mode. Are you serious? No, def that you can't be serious. I'm actually tempted, but... <laughs> oh, hey, and hey, th um, thank you for uh, coming here and, and commenting and, you know, talking with people. It it's really nice to, especially with indie games, because, I mean, it's really only possible with indie games just to, to, to meet the developers and, you know, hear their side of the, the commentary that either went into making the game or the thoughts and the ideas that they wanted to express with the game. And that's that's a, a unique experience, so I'm, I'm sure m myself and chat was very, very lucky to be able to... Um, have one of the developers here today just kind of given us some insight so that's that's super cool 24 hours of burger mode <laughs> we're a really small team and i really try to stop by when i can oh that's super nice yeah because oh you know it's it's soon everybody's playing your game and I'm, I'm sure it's hard to keep track of it all but uh yeah it's amazing that you you heard about it and, and, and came over here because there wasn't a lot of notice i think it was only like a two hour three hour notice for the stream so that is super cool you're glad it didn't break? Ugh, oh, you know, that's the minute you want somebody to show it or, or do something with it, that's when things go wrong. That's like Murphy's Law, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and for a small team, this is incredibly good. I mean, uh, indie games continue to impress me. Um, I'm not... 
I don't know, just some some AAA games, you're left feeling kind of flat. It just all, it almost seemed over over corporate. Uh, you know, the graphics are usually good, the visuals are usually good. You know, but it just I feel like it's got more personality when it's just got a couple people. I think the developers' personalities shine through a little bit more rather than it being you know a team of two hundred people. I don't know. Let's see. Will you live stream more challenging horror games like Outlast 2, Cry of Fear, Amnesia, or Penumbra? A Cry of Fear is super hard. Amnesia 1. You know what? I've been thinking. I heard there's a new Amnesia in the works. Maybe I should try playing Amnesia 1 right before the release. That way, you know, it gets everybody, um, everybody's noggins jogging, remembering it. Um, you know, just, just a cool way to hype up the second game. Like a band. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. You would support them? That's super nice, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, while some of the games are free, some of them are paid, and I think um, there are some soundtracks as well. Uh, I know Northberry Grove specifically has a soundtrack available, although I think you can get that in the deluxe version of the... Um, yeah, so yeah, if you're interested in the music, I know they have that, uh, as well as other games, so pretty cool stuff. Let's see. It's called the Dread X Collection. IGN uploaded the trailer. Ooh. You think Amnesia is free on the Epic Store? Well, I actually own Amnesia from way back when. I wanted to try making my own levels, but my poor little uh, laptop <laughs> could not sustain it, unfortunately. So, yeah. It's quite a shame. Well, tell you what, let me get a little bit of music going here. And um, then we can just talk for about three, four minutes, just wind the stream down. I think. That was weird. Oh, I, I must have been, yeah, because when I hit the button, it started it. Okay, well, tell you what, we've got a little bit of music from Voidhead, who was kind enough to do uh, donate some stream break music, some chill music. We'll get that going, just in the background. And then if anybody wants to talk about anything, here we go. Good stuff. All right, let's see. By the way, there's going to be a quick... Oh, is there? That's exciting. Okay, so according to No Pencil, there's going to be a quick movie night on the server after we finish. They're going to... We're going to end... Uh... Oh, yeah, so people have been watching The Shivering Truth, which is like a stop-motion kind of Adult Swim thing. Um, each one's kind of different from the other. It's wacky, it's surreal, it's insane. And they're maybe going to do J Danger 5 as well, which I think is an Australian kind of comedy um, thing. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'm working on um, some stuff, but I will probably have it on in the background and then try to the, uh, try to chat. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of indies are more interesting than some triple A's, and I have a theory. I, I think indies shine with um, horror specifically because with triple A games, they don't want to be too upsetting. You know what I mean? Um, you know, there's some focus group or there's some board of directors saying, you know, I don't like that this is in there. It may make people uncomfortable or people may get angry about this. And it's like, well, the whole point is that it's horror. It's supposed to be upsetting. I mean, you know, murderers, maniacs, people that chop other people up and, you know, hang them from hooks, you know, people that go missing and aren't found. That's what horror is. The whole point of horror is that it's horror. It's, it's to make you uncomfortable. And you don't really have an overhead boss saying, you know, I, I think we're pushing it too much with this. With an indie game, you can just say, hey, fuck it, let's do it. And if people are mad, oh, they're mad about some, you know, random game on the internet, you know, it's not like they have sponsors or producers or, you know, affiliated companies that they can attack if they decide they really don't like your horror game. So I think um, indie games have such a, a great amount of freedom there. You're playing a tough VR horror game in my stream now since you encouraged me. It's Omega Spook. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, VR horror is just oof, oof. I can barely take um, pancake game horror, let alone VR horror. Would you provide your voice to a game at all? Um, I can't act. I really can't. If you need a narrator or someone to read something, you know, like a robot voice, like I can read off a schedule or something. But when I try to act, ooh, it's bad. It's so bad. Um, yeah, but if anyone wants it, I, I can do some free cameos. But they're going to be a varying quality, just so you know. How, what, what you hear right now, that's, that's probably what it's going to sound like. So when is Nobody's Home? Um, probably this week. I've been planning to do it this week. Try babysitter, babysitter bloodbath. Oh, nice try. I've heard about that one. That's a that's a puppet combo game, and they are, ooh, they go from zero to a hundred. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Triple A's uh, try to play it safe. 
How many dead children will be in your game? Specifically children? Uh, I don't think there will be any. I don't usually put kids in, in anything that I do. I don't know. I never understood kids that much. Hmm. Do it. Show us an example of you acting. I can't. That's the thing. Um, I was never in theater growing up. I, I could never act. I can't sing. It, it wigs me out. It, it gets in my head, and then I start freaking out. And then it sounds like a like a bad sci-fi extra voice voice acting line. You know what I mean? All right. You read the Flesh Birds and Night of Oh yeah 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 Flesh Birds. I saw someone play that and Night of the Consumers. I, I've seen that one too. I wish I hadn't spoiled myself on that one, but yeah yeah. Yeah, so if anybody wants to see a spooky VR horror game, uh, Shadow the Fancy Slowpoke there, who is a moderator here, is playing that. I would recommend taking a look at his channel and seeing what he does. Ever thought of trying some Devolver Digital stuff? Oh, that sounds familiar, Devolver Digital. Where have I heard that from? <laughs> Genital jousting. Are they, is that them? My friend Pedro, I've seen that. Enter the Gungeon, I've seen that too. Whoa, is that all them? Gris? Hotline Miami, okay, yeah. They're famous, aren't they? Huh. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did something just happen? Oh gosh, yeah, Bell Dark, five monies. You stayed calm cursory. Mostly, it was a, it was a controlled panic, I'd say, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, what's the game I'm making? It's mostly just something to get me more comfortable with, uh, scripting and whatnot. And by scripting, I don't mean coding, I mean visual scripting. You know, um, interact here, dialogue branches, uh, keep track of the variables even when you change scenes, that kind of thing. I'm having a massive issue with the inventory, though. It's like the perfect inventory system, but the problem is it's made for, um, click and drag to use the item, so I'm having to finagle different ways to try and use it with a keyboard or a gamepad. Yeah, there, there seems to be a weird obsession I've noticed with Unity um, inventory systems to, if you're going to use the item, it's to click and drag it rather than to select it and select to use, you know what I mean? Because I've, ah, uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm working with it and I think I've got something. Let's see. Oh, Carry On isn't out yet. Yeah, I have seen the gifts of that one. It does look fun. Maybe you should try Forest. It's a, it's a horror game too. Is that the one where you crash on the plane and then you kind of have to survive? I actually own that one. I wanted to play it for the channel back when it was big. Um, I saw someone play and I was like, ooh, I gotta try that. But my poor little laptop just couldn't run it. Let's see. Is it a point-and-click or kind of an RPG-style game? It's it's like a third-person, um, I guess uh, more, li more like a Silent Hill 2 or 3 kind of thing. Not specifically horror, but more of like a mystery thing. All right. Well, I gotta go get something to eat. Um, but yeah, um, as, as No Pencil said, uh, there's gonna be, if you're interested in, in watching and riffing uh, The Shivering Truth and maybe some Danger 5, there's gonna be uh, that on the Discord, which you can find in the, the link in my description. Um, it's gonna be probably under movie night, and uh, yeah. Food sounds so good. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna eat before and I got too busy, and then I played a game that talked about uh, fast food. Thankfully though, looking at the food in the game didn't really make me hungry, so, so it wasn't too much of a torture. It's over, yep, yep. Um, thankfully one of the shorter streams, which is a nice break from the two hour streams we usually do, uh, we'll have to do something fun. And, oh yeah, yeah, and thank you so much to, um, the Scythe dev team, uh, specifically the, the person who worked on the sound effects and the sounds, that is super cool, and you did a great job, and I know everybody had a, a good time talking to you and picking your brain and asking you some questions. Hope you guys have, uh, continued success with your development team, and, uh, we're looking forward to the next creation. All right, well, you guys get something to eat, and maybe I'll see you over on Discord. Bye-bye.